I was wondering, does, is there any evidence of that, that um, sort of having role models not in the family but in the community helps? Very much so. Um, very much so. Um, in fact, there's, uh, the, there are studies from a place called Cowie um, which followed up a group of children to look at risk factors for, um, for violence and delinquency. And um, they, took a, they did a particular study about children who looked like they were high risk at about the age of 10 and followed them up. And they were following them up for about 20 or 30 years. These longitudinal studies are incredibly valuable in terms of what they can tell us about development, human development. And they took this group of kids who looked particularly high risk. They were dropping out of school. They'd already you know, been breaking the rules. And they looked at them 10 years, 15 years later, and they found that a lot of them had got into trouble, as predicted. But there was a subgroup that really hadn't got into trouble. And those ones that hadn't got into trouble were nearly all ones who'd made a relationship with a teacher. That actually a teacher had turned, a relationship with a teacher turned out to be incredibly important for helping vulnerable kids. And any teachers who are here will know exactly what I'm talking about. Because for some kids, of course, school is a welcome refuge from home. And so teachers and indeed peers can be a very important and are a very important source of social learning and pro-social support and development. But I think the question you raise about masculinity in infant school and primary school, I think, is an important issue. I don't know of any research around that issue. But I think, it is, I think it is important because I think it is vital that we have role models of a healthy, creative masculinity to set alongside you know, the Marvel superhero story of masculinity, which I'm guessing that not all men in this audience will support as being a general lifestyle. You know, <laughs> you know I mean, you know, there, we need stories of masculinity that are ordinarily loving, ordinarily creative, ordinarily rich. And, um, and I think that, that it, I think it is a bit of a worry, but that's, that's my anecdotal experience. I don't know of any research in that area.